One of the reasons Great Ape Trust has so much potential is because it will give people an opportunity to see another species across time in an unusual environment in a way they've never done before. to understand ourselves as humans, we need to understand through the lens or the mirror of another species that's very closely related to us many aspects of our behavior. Simply by visiting and seeing a group of creatures that look very much like early Australopithecines, they often walk bipedally. They look like something that just kind of stepped out of a textbook that's something between an ape and a human. They appear to be talking to each other all of the time. And you can't just call those things they're saying to each other screams or little high-pitched noises because they, they can run Carol. over and Carol. on a board of symbols, they can M &M. touch and you hear English words. Potato. And those English words make sense to you. What about dogs? What kind of dogs? Dog. Dog. The question you have to ask yourselves is why, if they can understand spoken English, why can't we understand what they're saying? If we're truly the most intelligent species on the planet, and we've been able through that intelligence to, to design this wonderful material world, what is our problem? in understanding them. If bonobos have potentials that no one thought were there even 10 years ago, that we're now seeing on a daily basis and that are surprising us, then obviously we as humans have to have potentials that we didn't know. These are the kinds of new and creative innovations that are possible at Great Ape Trust that are simply not even being thought of much less being actualized any place else today. Great Ape Trust has an important role to play in helping people understand why we need to preserve apes in the environment. People in general don't realize the value of apes. They in general don't realize how endangered they are at this particular point in time. We are passing through an hourglass. There are very, very few things we can really do to save the great apes at this point in time. Uh, but one of the ones that we can clearly do is to provide sanctuary and habitat within the United States for all four great apes in a place where they're respected, where their cognitive capacities are recognized, where they're given opportunity to communicate with humans who respect them, and where people from around the planet will be welcome to see them in as, as respectful and dignified circumstances as it is possible to provide.